Hey guys and gals, sweet Project Cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and simple ways. Today we're talking about these door stops, not keeping your door open and slamming on your legs. Here we go, door detent. We're talking about your door check. We're talking about the thing that keeps your door from shutting on your leg. Whatever you want to call it, these can be a real pain in the whatnot. It's so irritating when your door won't stay open. Now there's many different styles of this and how they actually work. I'm going to tear it apart so you can get an idea of what's inside. And to tear these apart, it's very simple. You just take a pair of pliers or a pair of side cutters. I used a pair of vice grips and it worked real good. You just peel up on each one of those tabs and this cover comes right off. We mounted it in the vise, we put a little full synthetic grease on it here. And you want to make sure you don't push back on this rod because if you do, all those pieces will fall out. You don't want to do that. And all you have to do is take this piece, make sure there's grease on each end of it. You're going to put it in long ways. Put it right there and you take your screwdriver. All you have to do is push down on the back edge and it'll go right in. See that? Now look at the pressure on that. Now, here's the cool part of this. You just saved yourself who knows how much money. But now this thing is rock solid tight. Now because we've put so much pressure on that, we're going to pack this thing right full of grease. And I'll bet you this thing will go another 20 years. When you're working on your car, of course, you got to have a few tools. All the tools that I'm using here will be in the show more of the video description. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. My Spanish speaking guy's back too. I love that guy. All right. So we're going to crimp that back down and we'll be back in a second. We're a little tight on that one. Well, the use the old, I'm telling you, you can never have enough vice grips. The old needle nose are some of my favorite. Like I said, I keep it forward a little bit, and then peel it forward like that. Once you get it clamped down enough to where you're seeing they're holding, then you can put it on your vice and tap it with your hammer. And bring the hammer back towards you this way while you're doing it. Kind of like construction guys do when they're hammering a nail. You see how I'm dragging it back? It pull, actually pulls that forward. Okay, she's closed up. All right, let's test it out now. All we did is move that rubber thing in there. And that is tight. But, of course, you shouldn't be able to pull that back. The door will do it because of the weight of the door. You should not be able to pull that back. So I think we're good to go. Now, here's the other method that we use. If you do not want to take it out of your car. We're going to take our lacquer thinner. Good old lacquer thinner. Got to have things clean if you're working on them. Now this is all you have to do, very simple. You see how that dried it right up there? Take your pick, you take your blow torch, just a little uh, propane torch. Very simple process here. And if it's not wore too much, this will work great for you. Just warm your pickup, get it, pickup. Just warm your Chevy pickup. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. So it's hot and then I just hold it right here as close to there as I can get it see how that's melting in and I put it in right here and it melts right into it I'm melting a little hole into it so this is doing it while it's on the car like I said if you can get behind here you can do it back here as well 
Get it so your pick is pretty hot. You'll see the tip of it turn red. Watch the smoke come off there. This will work good to keep the door from shutting on you. It's temporary. It's nothing like we just did with the rubber pressure modules. Let's call it that. I like that word, module. So now, once you've done that, you can go with that right there. Just go with that. That's all you've got to do. If you want to make it more permanent after you've put your melted holes in here, get your JB weld, mix it up as directed, and take a little bit of it and put it in each one of these holes that you just melted in there. Don't grind this down or nothing. Just fill that hole right there with your JB weld and you're good to go. And that will last you probably four or five or six months. But changing it in here, flipping the rubber module around in here, the pressure module, that is the permanent fix.